glittery bits in it, like shardy type micro shards in it. Um, I really wish that when she'd been operating, I bought more of her nail polish than I actually did because they're really good and I really like them. Number four, a nail, pol nail polish couples. What is your favorite Manny accent nail combination? That's almost an impossible question to answer because I like so many combinations. So I figured I would talk about the most recent combination that I found that looked so nice. I kind of didn't want to take it off my nails even though it was actually only on my nails for about five minutes. I was doing this watching video. <laughs> so, um, I'm currently working through swatching my entire collection in groups of 10 nail polishes um, and they're like randomly selected using a random number generator so because uh, I have all of my nail polishes listed on Airtable which is kind of like a spreadsheet that's in the cloud a bit like Google Docs but not um, and if in that group of 10 polishes there's something that is kind of like topper-like, then I'll put it over one of the non-topper-like polishes. And I did this in one of those videos and I only swatched the topper on a couple of fingers and it just looked so good. And I loved it so much that I took photos of it, which I was going to post on Instagram, but I didn't. Um, yeah. And that is, <laughs> get to the nail polish. Uh, that is Sally Hansen's Commander in Chic and uh, Pretty Serious's Daphne's Masquerade Party, which is a silver holographic topper. Um, Commander in Chic is kind of like a greyish colour, which is really funny because it's not my favourite colour normally, but it it just, it looks really classy on the nails, it's like a very elegant kind of look, and Daphne's Masquerade Party actually has a very slight pinkish mauve kind of um, colour in it, which you can, I don't know if I can get it to show on camera, oh, it help if I if you look at it just on the angle, there's this kind of like pinky mauve, um, which picks up the slight pink tone in this nail polish, like slight mauvey tone in this nail polish. I'll of course insert a picture. Um, yeah, but I, I really liked that. I think it's a great combination to put like something holographic with something cream, particularly in a very neutral shade. Just, it looks really cool. Number five, what is your best buy, best bargain found on sale? Most of my polish I buy on sale. I very rarely pay full price for a rainy nail polish. Mainly because in Australia, nail polish is stupid expensive. However, I was um, on my nail, like my acrylic nail supply site, uh, so where I get like my wax for waxing people and acrylic products and everything and they do stock some nail polish and they were stocking OPI nail polishes and they were basically discontinuing a huge range of them and they had put them down to five dollars a bottle and it is impossible for something like OPI for me to go past five dollars a bottle because it is more like ten to fifteen in Australia depending on where you buy it and if you have to buy it overseas you pay a stupid amount of shipping to actually get it so probably the one that I liked the best I haven't got one <coughs> here but it was the color paints line which you know not everybody thinks the color paints are any good because they're like watercolor nail polish and you know they look best if you used over something like a silver but if you're the kind of person who likes doing things like reverse stamping where you um, like that stained glass type of effect or you want to do like watercolor type of effects these polishes are actually really really good for that um, and at five dollars a bottle <laughs> and they had almost I'm missing I think I'm missing one color that they didn't have um, 
but at five dollars a bottle that was like the best deal ever because I really like OPI nail polishes in general so <coughs> that was a good buy um, number six how many polishes have you accidentally purchased more than one of now you might not believe me on this one I have 942 regular nail polishes that doesn't include top coat and base coat or my gel polishes in my collection I have only accidentally repurchased like bought two of a nail polish twice twice one of them and they're both the same brand go figure um because i was buying a lot of this brand which is bys which is a brand that we have here in australia you can get it at car uh, kmart you can also now get it at terry white chemists um and maybe some other place so this one is one of their magnetic ones and this one is magnetic jupiter so i accidentally bought another magnetic jupiter only i don't still have the other one because i had a bottle of let's talk by sinful colors which is like a purple um and when i bought it i should have just taken it back to kmart and got them to replace it but it didn't it didn't have a brush like it had the point like the stick but it didn't have the brush end on it uh so i poured out this my other one of these and put as much as i could fit of the simple colors into that container so i don't have that anymore the other one i do still have so that i can show you <laughs> One of these I paid full price for, which was $4, and the other one I got on sale, which was $2. Uh, whoops, nearly dropped it. <coughs> this is Midnight Blue from BYS. It is a dark navy blue with pinky purple shimmers in it. And clearly, when I saw it on sale... I was like, oh, that's great, it's only $2, I should buy that. And then I was going through my nail polishes and I was writing them all down by names that were kind of like the same, and then I realised I had two of them. But other than them, they're the only, I haven't done it with any others. Just lucky, I guess. I have re-bought nail polishes that I've used up, but they're the only accidental ones. Number seven, what was the first lemming that you successfully hunted down? Um, I don't really have a whole lot of lemmings. Like, I have a bunch of polishes that I'd really like to have, but I'm reaching my comfort level of maximum nail polishes. So I'm kind of being very careful what I buy. Um, I pretty much probably would only buy indie polishes from here on out. Um unless I got an incredible deal but one that was sort of a lemming like I really wanted it more for its name than anything else even though I do like this polish this is one of those you either love it or you hate it polishes some of you probably already worked out what it is um, but I'd wanted it for ages and it was kind of hard to get here in Australia um, and I hadn't seen it anywhere overseas where I was I either could get it like they would actually ship it to me or that I wanted to pay the amount of shipping they wanted me to pay. Um, and then it came up on one of my discount sites, probably because it is a love or a hate polish. So a lot of people wouldn't buy it because it's weird. Um, but when I saw it on this site, I think I paid like eight or nine dollars for it, which as I said, in Australia, prices are pretty high. So to get something like this is a, a regular brand, um, well-known brand, um, it was cheaper than what I could get it. I think they list them on that site at $20, but I know for a fact that I can pick up uh, a lot of this brand for like $10 in stores, if there's a store that stocks it. So the polish I'm talking about is OPI's Pineapples Have Peelings too. I know some people hate this polish, absolutely hate this polish, but I wanted it. And a lot of it is because of its name. If you know me, you know I love pineapples, and I'm kind of low-key obsessed with them. Um, so anything that has pineapples in it, like I picked up the Revlon Pink Pineapple from their perfumery line. It's a terrible nail polish, <laughs> but it's got pineapple. It's kind of like if I could get hold of a polish with my name, there was one polish by Zoya 
a long time ago that had my name, but they discontinued it, and you cannot find it anywhere. So that would be on my lemming list, but I certainly haven't got hold of it. Um, but yeah, I finally got hold of this, and I was very happy. Uh, number eight. What is your favourite topper? <laughs> it's a very difficult question. No, it's not. My favourite topper is a silver holographic. I don't actually have, like, a favourite, favourite. Um, this one would probably be close. Um, this is Cold as Ice by BYS, which is a very close tube of fairy dust, only slightly more dense. I'm pretty sure I have a video on that. Um, and... Of course, you know, Daphne's Masquerade Party, another silver holographic topper. Silver, garlic, silver holographic toppers are my favourite, my preferred topper. I do prefer them to be a little bit more dense, like I have fairy dust, but most of the time I just find it not quite dense enough. I want a bit more sparkle, unless I don't want to hide what's underneath it and I just want a little bit of sparkle then that's fine, but most of the rest of the time I actually want to see the topper. Um, yeah, so <laughs> silver holographic sparkles. Uh, number nine, how many polishes that you've de-stashed de have you ended up rebuying? I have not de-stashed any polishes. Not any that I, um, I've thrown out polishes or got rid of polishes that um, are dead and that I've used up um, but no, like, de-stashing to reduce the size of my collection. Um, and then, you know, regret bought one back. No, I haven't actually done that, so there are none. That's not me. And number ten, biggest regret. And then in brackets it says, a polish that you put in your basket and then put back. Um... Probably every single on-sale OPI polish that I didn't buy or China Glaze polish that I put in a cart on on-sale and then didn't buy. Because <laughs> it's like, then they're not there anymore. Um, and probably um, things like the any Doctor Who referenced nail polish. I mean, I have Christmas Time Paradox, which is kind of Doctor Who. <coughs> Some of the indie brands did, like, Doctor Who-type collections, and in a lot of them I'd put them in my car, and then I never bought them. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I kind of regret that in some ways. But in other ways, I don't, because they, they make new polishes that are very similar over and over again. I mean, there's only so many colour combinations that you can come up with. I mean, they're all slightly different, but... Um, yeah, but I don't have a specific polish that I really wish I had bought and didn't buy. Um, I'm not that, um, obsessed. I mean, I'm obsessed, but I'm just not that obsessed that I must have everything from a collection. Because if I was like that, I would be irritated that I don't have all of the, um, Hello Kitty collection. I have, like, three, but I'm like, okay, I have three. It's better than nothing. Um, although, I really wish I'd bought more of the Spider-Man collection from Revlon. I only have two of them, and I wanted more of them. Um, and the old holographic from China Glaze. I have quite a few of them. I've managed to pick up quite a few of them. But there have been a couple in, like, that have been on, on sale that I've put in my car and then not gone through with the sale, so I didn't end up getting them. But none really. Not really. So that is the another nail polish tag. I believe that's what uh, the nail polish hound called it. Everybody who's participating will be linked down below. Some people are doing it on Instagram. Um, and some people are doing it on YouTube. Their links will be down below. Go and check everybody else out. Particularly if you like nail polish type stuff. So Omnia, everybody that... I link down below. You need to go and check them out. Because a lot of them are now polish only channels, so you'll love that. <laughs>
and some of them do lots of nail art tutorials as well. So. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the bell to get notified of when I upload new videos, leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!